Hello everyone, Mucklug Douglas Moth, I'll be Reginald Esquire the Fourth here. And today I've got a guide for you on a Guild Wars 2 add-on manager. Also, a guide on how to upgrade your Guild Wars 2, if you wish to, from DirectX 9 to DirectX 12. For some people, this is a very, very big increase to how smooth the game looks. Just everything looks more fluid, more frames per second, just looks really, really nice. Uh, it will not do that for 100% of you. Some of you may have hardware that does not support DirectX 12. If your computer was a little bit on the potato side or it was just overtaxed with what you're running it, for example, I myself when I am streaming and also running a chatbot and also playing Guild Wars 2 all at the same time, my computer is very burdened. Uh, the memory usage is quite high. And when I added DirectX 12 to that, uh, my memory capped out. So I had to take that off. But when I'm not streaming and I was running the DirectX 12, it looked really good. Again, there's two separate categories of what we're going to touch on here. One is this wonderful add-on manager that was uh, shown to me recently. And I'm now sharing it with you guys. And the other is the DirectX 12 thing. And you can uh, use either or both if you wish to do so. So if you would like to get this, first thing I'm going to do is direct you to a website. And uh, it is a GitHub com link and I will have the link in the description so you can just copy paste it. The link will take you here. Uh, the source code is right here if you feel the need to check it for anything. Uh, this right here is the zip file that you would download. So you're going to click on this and download it and once you open up the zip stuff you're going to want to extract all this to a folder uh, on the same drive that Guild Wars 2 is on. So for example my Guild Wars 2 is C program files Guild Wars 2. So I just made a folder right next to it called Guild Wars 2 add-on manager and I put everything that was uh, in here I extracted it into the Guild Wars 2 add-on manager. A quick pause here in Guild Wars 2 if you were already running any add-ons for example let's say you uh, were running radio mount menu or RTPS from in the past you're going to want to delete those. Don't worry we're going to put them back in just a minute but go into bin 64 and the D3 D9 files that you have for your add-ons so you might have D3 D9 D3 D9 underscore chain load and any others delete those. I know for firsthand that if you try to get the add-on manager working with add-ons already there, it won't. So delete those files and then you can open up the add-on manager. So you would go back to the Guild Wars 2 add-on manager spot where we extracted the files and you're going to open up this boy right here and that is going to open this program. Now here you've got a few different options. Um, you can reset to a clean install uh, which should do nothing for you right now because you should be basically at a blank slate and you can read this stuff yourself. It's all self-explanatory. Now, I, for example, have ArcDPS as well as its boon table installed. That allows me to see like what the alacrity uptime is on a boss fight. Like, Flute Girl, you only had 50% alacrity uptime. We need you to hit that button more often. Uh, Guild Wars 2 Radio Mount Menu. I've done a video on that in the past. You can install it using this program now if you choose to do so. Here is your DirectX 9 upgrade to DirectX 12 or D912PXY. So if you wish to run this, it will use a little bit more system resources to make the game look a lot more fluid, more frames per second, and uh, if your rig can handle it. There's also a few other things in here. I've actually never used BuildPad. I don't know anything about it, so I'm not going to recommend it, but you can read on that if you want to. Uh, RTPS scrolling combat text and RTPS mechanics plugin. So you can see there's already a lot of uh, a lot of things in here already. Here's the RTPS that I have installed. So I've got three things, arc, boon table, and the radial. So with that, you would simply hit update and it would update your uh, your stuff with that. And also if these add-ons receive any updates, you could just hit this and oh my gosh, it's so much easier than it was. We were running, we were installing add-ons before like it was 20 years ago. And this is very refreshing. I, I hope nothing happens to break this tool. So if you ever use the curse add-on manager, uh, this feels like that. So once you've done that, we are just going to launch our game. So I'm gonna do a little time skip here. All right, and now I'm in game. You can see my RTPS is already up here. Uh, my boon table is right here in the RTPS menu. Uh, if you're interested in that, you hit Alt Shift T to open the RTPS menu and the boon table is like an add on to it right there. And you can see the uptime of any buffs uh, that are need that you need information on to see if somebody's slacking or if they could be better. And also my radio mount menu is still working. So as you can see here, um, I just updated all three of these add-ons using the add-on manager and they are all still perfectly functional. And as I said, you can add DirectX 12 on top of that if you want to uh, test it out, see if it works. And uh, I, I will say, 
it looks beautiful. Uh, for me as a streamer and someone making videos, it was a bit too intensive for what my system could handle on top of recording and streaming software, but it looked really nice. Uh, and I encourage you guys to uh, try it out if you're interested. So that's it. It is truly that simple. This might be one of the shortest guides I've ever made, but discovered something good, tested it out, worked well for me, and I wanted to share. So with that, guys, if you liked the video or you found it helpful, please consider hitting that like button to help us out with the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment if you have any questions or any tips on these topics that I missed. I would love to hear more information. And finally, subscribe if you would like to see more content. And if you would like to talk to me live, I am live on Twitch every evening, as many of you well know, and that link is in the description as well. And as always, happy gaming.